viewers and subscribers, lovers of truth, this is where you get it undiluted. And I can tell you for sure, there is pressure in Asorok. Yes, the man occupying Asorok, as we speak, the Jagaban of Lagos, Tinibu, is seriously under pressure coming from America, asking him why they should not release the documents, his educational or academic documents in Chicago. Just as Atiku had been pressing so hard. As if that is not enough, this one is coming not from a Nigerian, but from the man who got shocked because of the ambition of Tinubu. Listen to him. Tinubu had been elected as the president of Nigeria and that there was a dispute about it that was going to the courts. I shrugged that off thinking, well, that is par for that particular course. But when I heard him preaching about the sacredness of democracy and free and fair elections in relation to his neighbor Niger, when I heard him as a saint, like Saint Francis of Assisi, talking about the absolute unacceptability of people coming to power in an African country, other than, by implication, like him, through a pristine election system, I began to look more closely at him. That's when I discovered he was the bag man. Yes, he literally carried a bag of hundreds of thousands of dollars of drug money in Chicago. He should have gone to prison, but instead he just gave the feds the money. Now, okay, that's a common or garden story in Chicago, which in the time of Al Capone and in the time of Joe Biden is a criminal hellhole presided over by Joe Biden's party for the best part of a hundred years. It kind of happens. But when I began to think, how does a man who's a bag man for organized crime in Chicago end up in the president's house in Abuja? How does that happen? Well, I then discovered that probably it didn't happen at all that not only was he a bad man for the mafia, he also stole the election in Nigeria. Now even then, it was not my intention to get locked into a confrontation with him. I have many, many uh, uh, fish to fry. I have many, many conflicts, countries. Can you imagine what a man's ambition had brought upon him? radical among the nations of the world everyone now had known the dirty past of tinibu the dirty past of a drug lord that is now the president of a country everywhere you go this is the badge tinibu carries all about they might try to, you know, make you feel or pose that it doesn't matter. It is really mattering. <laughs> Let me use that word. It is really mattering because the man, no, no sleep as we speak. Because sometimes when, when you get ambitious, it is good to be ambitious. But when you become over ambitious, that you have gone out of your way, doing everything illegitimate to become the president of a country just like we have today it has brought all manner of creeping things towards Tinubu. today he had become even people who do not know Tinubu in the past or even know about his connection with them um, drug whatever 
He's knowing it today. If Didibo had known, he should have j -j 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 quietly in his retirement age as it is today. Continue to enjoy the process of whatever past he have indulged in. Including holding Lagos State economy in his pocket. He should have just quietly, him and his family should have just quietly lived their life without dragging the entire Nigerian people into a mess we are having today. Is it not his son that went about with DSS to do skating? We are seeing all those shits. We are all seeing that this family, the Jagaban family, meant no well for Nigerian people. But for the fact that just like he said, it is his turn, and it must be him. If not him, all hell will let loose. Why would all hell let loose when the past is a big mess? Why has the past? Is the, he knows the past. He knows those who precedes him, the impunity of the system which he is part of, and the poopers that are, you know, the, 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 the puppeteers, actually, the Western world, who have seen a very reliable tool to be used as a stooge not just in Nigeria but in West Africa sub-region and perhaps Africa at large how can you have a drug lord as a president of the giant of Africa as so called that means we are giant of Africa in all negativity in impunity, in corruption, in dirty businesses. Not be me, Takamo. Make him go clear himself. If to say all these things are false, let him come out openly and say he had no link with drug or nicotine, whatever. No, let him come out and say that. He's becoming a radical everywhere you go. Just like MTN, everywhere you go. Tidibu, the drug. You know, so we know that he had bribed his way that made him not to be prosecuted in the US. You know, you know, corruption this corruption now, English word now. Uh -huh. So, these people way there abroad, this Western world, they're also corrupt in their own ways. If not for corruption, why would they be what would they be doing in Africa? So, let us just keep that aside and focus on the man who they. Asorok, make we all help him to vacate Asorok for the benefit of everyone. That is why every Nigerian, in fact, Africans, should be involved in what is happening in Nigeria. As we are looking out to the tribunal judges to save Nigeria from this shame and ridicule and install the mandate of the people, the man that actually won the election. If Tinubu had won this election, probably his sins have been in the past that all things have. Uh, gone and everything had become new. If he had repented, that one would have been a different ball game. We'll be looking at a changed man. But what we are seeing so far, do you think that this man is anywhere near change? No. So <laughs> we are in for the worst, though. Uh -huh. If the needful is not done. But I can tell you, revolution is knocking around Nigeria. And until this revolution hit in Africa touches the so-called giant of Africa. <laughs> there may not be any salvation for Africans, so, and it begins with Nigeria by fixing the institution, beginning with the judiciary delivering justice and not just judgment based on technicality. Nigerians, all eyes on the judiciary. They are losing sleep. This is just the beginning. I am only an advocate for good governance, and I'll keep preaching it and good governance starts with the way and manner you get into office. It starts with the process. Because you cannot be a thief. You jump in through the window and you come in to start fixing the home. No, it doesn't work that way. <laughs> so that is where I'm wrapping it up. How do you, how, what's your reaction to this, my people? Drop it on the comment section and help us share this video.
Hmm? Since they say uh, you no go agree Nigerians to rest, you no go allow we poor Nigerians to breathe hmm? into you no go breathe. We go continue breathing down their neck until they let us go. Bye bye for now.